Hey, so some of you may have noticed that my last YouTube video was taken down. No worries, I did it. Uh, it wasn't YouTube at all who removed it. Uh, it was just a bad video, and while I'm teaching, I don't want to have videos that just are a drag. And it was such a bad video, it was like that last round of Rosie fight. That's pretty bad. Now that the video is down, I'm redoing the entire thing and making it a lot better for you the viewers. So that way I could give you a better video that probably won't put you to sleep. Okay, so here's the new video and hopefully it'll be something you enjoy. Okay, so here we go. Now the first part of it is drawing out the bullets. Now, bullets are easy, way easy. All right, so you're gonna start off with drawing out an oval and then draw a line in the back of it if it was only that easy. First thing you're gonna need is a reference photo. You can get that online. That part's easy enough. Second part, you're gonna have to learn how to put out, uh, draw in the details of the bullet. Uh, once again, it's still easy. You're just gonna leave the center part clear, white, and then the front of it, you're gonna go with a dark brown, then the sides of the bullet, you're gonna start putting in yellow brown and a darker brown. That's simple. Then add on trim lines to black and in the shape that you would like it. That's the ground rules one. Since most of you are younger and that tip isn't directly the best tip to give. Okay, so let's get a little more detailed into it. So when you're drawing out the bullet, you wanna trace out the grooves of how you drew out the bullet. So you're gonna go oval in the front, flat in the back, go a little bit over before you dent in and then add that little dent in to make the bullet shape. Then you're gonna go around the sidings of the bullet, leave the top part white, the yellow part in, the next light brown in, and then over that you'll go dark brown. Now you'll be able to go in with a white blender or something white that you may have. Uh, it could be paint, it could be anything. I use paint in a lot of my stuff. So now you just put that inside and it should start looking more like a bullet. Now as you go into it, you might wanna just keep adjusting little by little as you go into details of the bullet and just keep messing with it until it looks exactly the way you want it. And okay, the next part. The next part is the gun. We're gonna start, start off with the handle of the gun. Now, I'm not sure if you found the reference photo for the exact gun you want, or you can sort of copy off of mine, just not totally off of mine. You can always draw it in your own way. But you're gonna take that outline shape that you can find anywhere online, and once you start doing it, you'll be able to see exactly what details you might want in your gun. You could draw a happy face in your gun. You can draw squiggly lines, whatever it may be. Just put whatever details you want in it. Then as you go along, you're gonna start off with a light brown and work your way into the grooves around your image into the gun. So that way you'll start a base uh, color. As you start your base color, you're gonna start topping that color with a black pencil. So as you put the black pencil in, don't go too extreme with it. Otherwise, it'll end up looking like a burnt match and that's not really what you want is something so black no one else can see it. <laughs> if you want that, just put a tire on the screen. As you go into the next part uh, where you're filling in your item, whatever it is you chose to put into your detailed gun, uh, let's say if it was a happy face. Now you're gonna go over that happy face with a gray pencil and on top of the gray pencil, you might wanna go with that brown pencil once more. Make it look a little rusty, like it's been used for a while. Uh, just make it look like a gun's image, like what it was meant to be. Now here's the best tip ever. If the image that I'm drawing is way too hard for you, Use tracing paper. I mean, you can't trace from the screen, but you can always search your uh, your image, print it out, and then use tracing paper to print, trace it out. Once you got your tracing paper image of it, uh, you just put it against the paper, 
and trace over that. The image will pass over. Then you just have to trace it along and you, there you go. You've got your outline of the gun. Now you step in, you add your smiley faces, little cute pink bowls or whatever it is you like to add to these things. I don't know. I'm not in your personal business. But whatever it is you want in your gun, you can add it. So after that, you move on. So now you want the gun handle of surrounding your image to look realistic. So all you're going to do is after you add in your colors, you're going to add in these tones to help it pop out and look like it's an actual gun. You're going to go around parts of the gun with a white blender. Now you have your white curve against the gun. Go along the back lining of the gun. That way it'll pop out a little bit more. Now for the front part where there's less light hitting it, just simply go over it with black. Now you're good because now it's going to look like what it's meant to be. A transition from light to dark. You have your little images inside and you have your outline that looks great. So next, all you have to do is move on to the next part of the gun. Just remember that the gun is supposed to be old and since it's an old gun, you really have to make it look old, which means a lot of more black than any other color. And that brown will just help it look rusty. And once you go on top of it within your details, it should pop right out and if it's not popping out by then add another bow to it if that works for me i'd add 20 bows if it made the image look even better next part you want to watch out for is coloring within the lines if you're joining us take it slow you, you, it's not a race you're not going to get any points by rushing through it uh at the end of the race is not a rainbow full of cash nobody's going to hand you a baton or anything like that so easily all you have to do is take your time go slow color within the lines make sure that it looks great and make sure that you do the same technique with the next part of the gun if it's the barrel you add that white blender in the middle where it would need that curve like my face has the white in it it adds the curve you can literally look at any thing in in your room and find out how light works. Behind me is a couch. You can see the curving of the couch and how the light hits it and lets you know that it's actually being curved. Without that, it would just be flat, uh, flat paper with no life to it at all. And moving on to the second gun. Second gun, same thing. Uh, flip over the tracing paper, put it down, easy as pie. Wish it was that easy for me. No, I had to draw it from scratch and I had to use a ruler and I had to adjust it to the size I wanted and all this yada yada boring stuff. Not easy. Now, if you're a skilled artist, perfect. You know exactly what I'm talking about and you can jump right in and sketch out the gun flip the other way. Put your happy faces on and whatever else, your pink bows, whatever you put on it and that's it. You're good to go. But in reality, no, we had to do it the detailed way as skilled artists. Beginners, you got it easy. Just do that. Or you can try and see if you can do it. If it works, it works. Okay, so for this next part, I really had to go into it with color because in the background, things are on fire. Now, to make my gun look like it was on fire, like the roses in the background, I could have easily just gotten a lighter and lit it on fire but nobody would see it. So, so it, at this point, I guess I'm left with coloring it in. So what I did was I got some reds, I got some yellows, and I went across the back of the gun with those same things. Now, what spot I used? I used the same lighting that I mentioned earlier that was in my face and in my couch right behind me. All you have to do is see where those curves are and where they were meant to be in the gun and instead you're going to switch the background lighting with that. Now guess what? You know exactly where those type of lightings are supposed to be. Now it looks like your flame in the background is so realistic it's coming off of the gun. Everybody would love that wouldn't it? Because a flaming gun looks cool. I wish I had one in real life. I wouldn't be able to hold it because of the flames but uh, that's pretty cool and realistic. Now that I'm done with the video and I spoke so fast I could barely keep up with myself. Unfortunately, I'm a fast talker. I hope everybody heard everything I said, especially with the 
you know, tips and everything else I put in, I think. <laughs> you, well, hopefully you heard it and hopefully it was a good video to teach you something. And I'm hoping to get you more in the future. And I hope that uh, you hit the subscribe button, of course. Or at least just view it, share it with your friends, let them see what it is that is going on. Maybe you might be a better artist than me. Maybe you might send me some tips. Who knows? But I'm hoping that the few that did watch the video learned something and had a lot of fun watching it. And I'll see you next time that I post my next video. Hopefully I won't take it down afterward because it was such a bland video. Poor Rob.